Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Final Dawn 9, Path of Radiance, me Sweat. <coughs> Chapter 15. The Feral Frontier. Oh my, if it isn't young Prince Serenes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. No, she are looking well. And feeling well too, thank you very much. This whole crew is a surprise ever. Tell me though, how fares your father, King Lurasia? Same as ever, since that terrible day he remains a bed, he seldom rises anymore. And I'm not surprised. In the span of a few days he lost his family, his friends, and almost all his countrymen. Yes. And yet we're blessed that you're still with us. Prince Wilson, if there's anything this stuttering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you, I appreciate the kind sentiment. So I do kept you waiting, Rayson. Lucia, you can talk ancient history later, leave us at once. Yes, of course, I'm sure you've much to talk about, much to say. I'll just take my leave of you. Please, Prince Wilson, make yourself at home. Hmm, all new age, she's always been fond of House Serene. When he heard the White Prince himself was gracing us with a visit, he could barely contain his joy. So, Prince, what's this all about? What's all this about? Ah, I guess. <coughs> I haven't seen your face around here in quite a long time. I'm actually quite curious as to your intentions. You actually joined the club. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> Goldo meeting? Ah, I guess. Something like that. As you were after Nays, why do you provoke Tiban? Can't okay, wait for that, are you serious? Don't mock me, Crow King. Tiban is my father's guardian. If not for him, we might have suffered the end of House Serene's itself. I will not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see, so rather than ally yourself with me, trusted a companion of old, you would side with his new protector? That is an unfortunate shift in attitude. I trust you remember that <coughs> when you and your sister were young, it was I, not Tiban, who watched over you. Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roost, Nizla. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with my enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship the two of us once shared. Oh no, I can never do. See, humans are essential to the fulfillment of my ambitions. You've changed, Nizla. If this is the path you've chosen, I've nothing left to say. No doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard Kelvis, Prince, to protect an entire country. King Dazel, Duke Tynus of the Begnion Imperial Senate has arrived. Bring him in. I mentioned it just now, I wished against those most splendid citizens. Was I a Serene's noble? They're supposed to be extinct. And what if it were? Oh, that's right, wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings and that shimmering hair sparkling like falling gold dust. This is the crystallization of beauty in its purest form. You call that come please discuss this business at hand? For your request, we have appropriated several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gettos. Yes, yes, and you will become say it's promised, but right now there is something else that I simply must have. Then another request, what can we pull on in for you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, something much more stunning. And if you agree to my proposition, I will double your normal fee. As a most general self, I tell me what is your desire. Desire? But surely you've already guessed. Yeah, I think we've all guessed. And yeah, now we're back at Beckneon. Me with the apostle was fine, but all she did was pay us and give us another job. She answered no questions. I wonder what she's planning, that cargo? I can't help but believe that there were living creatures inside, but... What do you suppose the apostle intends to do with them? I don't know, Titania. We're all nobles and royals like this. They have plans and paperwork for every little thing, and their speech is as confusing as it is tedious. But I, the other nobles we know are different. There's Princess Alincia, King Galia, and the Dragon Prince, too. All of them have been so nice and friendly and easy to talk to. Perhaps the rudeness of the upper air clone is unique to the Biot class system. Princess Alincia was raised in special circumstances. Maybe that's why she's so different. Uh, I could never get accustomed to the culture of Biot nobles. I right, come here to report the results from the last battle. <laughs> oh, we hit 10k! Yay! Uh, I didn't get much experience. So there's no casualties, no one's here. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, let's check the outfit. He doesn't need a kill ant. Kill ant. In fact, I don't use anyone who does use that, so I can probably sell that to be honest. Is it me or is he not? Ugh. I forgot to equip it. Crap. That's why the Lagoos did so much damage. I forgot to equip the guard. Yeah, that was stupid. Well, I've done it now. <laughs> yeah, remember to equip the guard. It's pretty useless without it being equipped. Oh, it's a short spare. Oh yeah, his knife broke, I need to get him a new one. 
Oh, and you should always check the shop because sometimes they do have some really rare stuff in there. Right, I need a knife. Don't tell he's chosen now to not do knives. Oh, it's shine, that's light magic. The only character I know who can use that is Reese when he hits second job. I don't know anyone else, anyone else who can use that. No, it's not, not that good anyway. Can we forge knives? No, we can't. What the hell? I need a knife. I wonder if Sophie's got one. Sophie should come with. Yeah, he does. Good. Soft came with one. I'm not using Titania. I might as well just give her stuff in. Then again, no one else uses axes. <laughs> well, they do, but no one I use uses axes. Right, we're going to need to equip some Lagoon stuff, I think, for this chapter. Yeah, so, so I need to. I I really need to decide who I'm going to give the things to. My permanent stat boost items. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty good. Cut kit out. So I'm decided who I'm going to give my XP to. And that's all level me up. Oh, pretty good. Oh, let's level off. Come on, strength. Come on, strength. Ah, oh, he's going so well. I had like strength every level up <laughs> from eleven onwards, or twelve onwards, because twelve was the first got it. Oh, I've got, oh, just got counter advantage added to the list. Advantage is actually pretty good with Nepony, but I'm going to wait for another move. I'm going to give her instead. Okay, not going to get some. Now let's look at the info. <coughs> You're from the northwest nation of Crimea, are you not? You have, you have my condolences for the terrible misfortune that has befallen your country and people. That you remain blessed. Fate has brought you here to the Grand Temple Main Isle, to the splendor of Beckney and grandness of all the nations in Tullius. By the way, I hear you are travelling north to the Grand Desert. There are ancient ruins there, you know. They are the rem remnants of a race known as the Zunanmar, who come from a civilization that predates our town. Our, our own. <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy the sensation of being immersed in such primordial surroundings. Eh, uh, yeah, it'll be a real picnic. Oh yes, picnics are indeed nice, but a word of caution. Studying the wounds from afar is one thing, but you would be well advised to keep your distance for safety's sake. It's said that a bandit stronghold near the northwest ruins, and we hear an occasional reports of strange figures wandering the dunes in the northeast. Be careful. 